the first question is, what was it again? What was the event briefly that got you, gave the fire in your belly to? Um... Oh my God! After we were the company was trying to open up an office, and I, you know, after walking around the streets and seeing all the beautiful women, this is God seven years ago, and I got curious and started looking at the dating sites, and we'll talk about the one specific, which was Anastasia and Charm, and I figured, oh, what the heck? I'm here. I'll go on a date. Well. Immediately upon arriving, I was like, mm, something is not right here at all. And the guy that actually had brought me there, Mikhail, a friend of mine in Kiev, I had him actually follow. After I kind of ended it kind of shortly, I had him follow the girl, not the translator, but the girl back to the, you know, follow her. Followed her back to the agency where they met up and so forth. And then I got curious and started digging, you know, using photos and searching and it led me down this huge rabbit hole, and it had led from site to site to site to site. I mean, from Anastasia to, uh, what is it, uh, what was the other one? Natasha Date, I think was one of the other ones, Victoria, and it led down this rabbit hole. I just dug. I mean, I just started digging, using photos, found their social media apps. I mean, I found it all. And come to find out, they all know each other. It, it, it's like one big family. They are. It's like one big family. This, um, but Scammers club. Oh, it, it is. But getting to your point, I started posting uh, reviews up on uh, Site Jabber. That was the first place, and I actually was sending, putting up their links, photos from their social media pages, showing guys that look, they're all friends. Um, links to multiple different sites, trying to show where the bio is different, similar but different from each one, and that just shows you the database, and. From there, it just I just kept doing it. Guys started reaching out to me. They would ask me questions. I think I at that point probably I think when you and I first met, I'd done a 24 different reviews. Well, it was shortly after you and I met. All of a sudden, they just they started disappearing, just going away, and started digging. Either they were deleted or they were buried, like you said. Page 20, page 15. They these sites. Like you said before, they hire these companies to come out and give, quote, good reviews. These good reviews come in on these sites like Trustpilot, SiteJabber, and they bury the negative comments. They overwhelm it with, and I actually caught one of the one of the people on SiteJabber, this, this uh, person did a positive review. Actually, come to find out, she was a friend of one of the people that worked at one of the agencies. And I actually called that out on SiteJabber, and they actually removed that. But... It proved my point that they hire people to come in and write these reviews to bury. And now, Brian, now Brian, let, let me ask you um, to cut to the chase. Mm -hmm. I know you, you and I can talk for hours oh, on this. Yes. I mean, days actually. This guy, we, we've sat and talked for, for days. In fact, we have quite a few videos on our main channel talking about all things scams. But how many reviews have you left? How many views? Do, okay. have they collectively totally gotten and how many were taken down by the reputation management companies that hired right. them a total of 20 25 reviews with almost almost 900,000 reviews so almost 1 million views and mm -hmm. 25 reviews and how many are still up today one, one. one. so out of 25 they pulled down 24 out of 25 bad reviews. And can you just off the top of your memory, because again, what's different about this live stream is I'm calling everybody out, baby. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know why other people, well, I do know they're, they're afraid. You know why? <laughs> I know why. I know why. Uh, you know, and I have two family, two young girls. So in Ukraine, I had to watch my P's and Q's. Um, I, I would probably a little bit brazen as it was living in Ukraine, but um, yeah, what are the main ones that you did the bad reviews about that got pulled down? Oh, God. Charm date, Anastasia, Ukraine Bride Agency, Ukraine date, uh, Victoria Brides, uh, Natasha date. Come to find out, they really all are all, they're like Natasha, Victoria, they all use the same database. So I was able to track that down. They all use the same database, but those were the, the big ones. Okay. I mean, there's, yeah, there's there's it's coming on in second position. For, for, and, and 
Yep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So from, let me just put this up, from these top 13 offenders, um, how many uh, from these top 13 offenders? Um, AFA I never dug into <clears throat> um, briefly, but I saw immediately it was a scam. But Anastasia, UA Dreams, Ukrainian Bride Agencies, Charm, Ukraine Date, Victoria Brides, Russian Cupid, Victoria Hearts, uh, J Jump for Life, and nothing on Elena's. So most of those, um, yeah. most of those, yeah. Let me ask you this question, Brian. Who owns the majority of these um, online dating scam sites? Who are the owners? Who are the owners of the sites? Well, the sites, a lot of the sites are local, but they sign contracts. And I actually have photos of, from one of the reps from Charm Date in one of the local agencies in, in Kiev. But the sites will be local. But you'll have the affiliation. They'll sign contracts with Charm Date or Cupid. What is it? OK, not OK Cupid. I forget what they call themselves now. But the company that owns Buying Charm, and they sign contracts with these locals. Hence, why they can throw their hands up and say, "We didn't know she was a scammer." They point it back to the local agency. Supposedly, you can't get your money back, but there's ways around that as well. Mm -hmm. What? Let me ask you a more direct question. Are mm -hmm. most of these sites owned indirectly by the mafia? Oh, God, yes. God, yes. yes. That's what I was getting at. The Russian, Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of you guys have the question, how is it they're able to operate? Why doesn't the authorities on whatever level take them down? The reason is they're <laughs> shell companies. And if you, you would take them to court. You would present all your evidence. You'd probably win because it's pretty obvious uh, and there's a lot of evidence out there on all these different sites but then when you get the judgment you'd never collect and for that reason a lawyer won't take it on at least not um, not on contingency he'll charge you 500 bucks an hour and who wants to spend 500 bucks an hour and spend a hundred thousand dollar bill to win and sue and not collect anything so you've lost yourself Yep. It'll cost oh, hundreds of thousands to sue any of these. It'll cost hundreds of thousands in U.S. court. So I hope that answers that question. And the other thing, Brian, I don't know if you've seen any of these. These videos I'm going to be playing. I have 11 queued up. It's from a head. I'm going to play. Well, I'll play one of them right now, and then we'll come back, and I'll tell you specifically what it is. But watch this. This is scammers teaching scammers how to do their job most efficiently. Деньги? Они неудачники просто в жизни, и поэтому они продолжают сидеть тут. Mm -hmm. Мы здесь 
занимаемся тем, что мы, во-первых, зарабатываем деньги, во-вторых, мы получаем удовольствие от работы, мы хорошо проводим время. В принципе, мужчины понимают и выкупают, почему э, девушки тут сидят. Да, Это да. просто ну, они неудачники просто в жизни, и поэтому они продолжают сидеть. Hey guys, so there you have it. You guys are losers, <laughs> as you've been told by uh, what's his name, Koya, the scammer. And a lot of these scammers are men. In fact, they make the best scammers that make the most money because, well, they have a dick too. So, so they, they know, know how you think. Yeah, they know how we think <laughs> with the little head, right? <laughs> so, um, what is the syndicate? I'll, I'll share that with you just for a moment. It is a combination headhunter and training company located in uh, the lion's den, Odessa, Mama, Ukraine. And that's what they do because you think a billion dollar machine that's scamming guys like that's a lot of money. They need a lot of employees, a lot of super chatters, a lot of chatters. So uh, they, the syndicate, they find the chatters, hire them with good English and well, preferably good in English. And then they train them. And this This is 11 uh, video series, training video series from by the syndicate. So I got my hands on them and I'm, I'm exposing them as well in this live stream. So that's why you want to you want to subscribe to Mail Order Bride Scans, this channel, because you will see all the training videos here. And I'm still releasing more, more um, exposing the scammers for what they are on this channel. So that's why you want to subscribe to this. Um, any any two bits, any comments about this, Brian, about the this? No, no, I already knew it was happening. Yeah. I already knew. Thanks again, Brian, for uh, for being on. We'll hopefully talk to you sooner than later. Yes, yes. Take care, Joe. Yeah, bye-bye.